Hello everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here, bringing you another Marvel Strike Force video. Today I'm going to be talking about my saved squads, all the different things and the stuff that I use them for and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you guys have any suggestions on videos that you want to see, hit me up in the comment section and below, or hit me up on Discord, I'm always there. So definitely hit me up, let me know if there's anything you want to know, anything you want me to put out there, and I'll definitely try to work on that. Let's get to that game footage. Roll it. So today we're going to be talking about my saved squads that I have right now currently and the various uses that I use them for and stuff like that. So right now, this is that top squad on the very top with Captain Marvel. And then I have Star-Lord, Rocket, Miss Marvel, and Groot. I use that for Blitz. It's a very good team, I find, in like Blitz 8.3 because you get the assist off Miss Marvel when Captain Marvel goes, and then every time Rocket goes, he's going to get that assist from that special and the ultimate with Groot. So it's just like a really heavy-hitting offensive team. I'm usually able to delete a character at least right off the bat pretty much, so I could go like 5 against 4 pretty quickly. Then we have the Guardian mixes that I have. That first one with Mantis is more of a raid team I use. You could use them in Blitz, but I use them more in raids and everything like that for UR6 and stuff. Then that second one is like the version 2 of the Guardians team that I use, and that's more for like Blitz and all that kind of stuff that I use that one for. Then we have Power Armor, who I find very... This is one of my favorite teams. Like I love them. I use them in Blitz, I use them in War, I use them for Raids. Like I, I use them everywhere pretty much except for like Arena. I'll use Falcon on my Arena team because of that turn meter that he generates and stuff like that. But overall, like I use them pretty much everywhere and I love them. The only thing I don't like right now is that I don't have Ironheart up and running. Haven't had time to work on her because she requires tech gear and I've been putting more of that gear into Ultron and getting him up and running. Then I have the traditional defenders who I use them. They're they're pretty average, like they're all right. They're like baseline, just average, easy to use hero team, you know. They're good for raids, like they'll take you pretty far decently and get you through most of hero campaign. But other than that, I'll use them on blitz here and there once in a while. And then for war, I save them for offense. And the same thing with power armor. Both are offensive teams for war. Then we have my brawlers team that I use. I put Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel, Miles, America Chavez, and Captain America. And the reason I put Captain America in there is because I find like a lot of the brawlers, like they just have low health. They're very weak and they're easy to take down. So I like having Captain America there because I could apply that defense up right away and get that extra sustain and stuff. Plus he dispels with his shield throw. So he's he's a very good character. I like my cap and he's a six red star. So I was like, need to use him. He's definitely worth it. Then we have Fantastic Four, which is another war offensive team that I use a lot. They're for, I also use them in Blitz. They can win on 8.3 also, pretty good. And you might have to play the matches. You don't, like, it's not a guaranteed win if you sim it. But if you play the matches through, like, you'll actually get some decent wins out of them. And on war, they punch up very well. Like, I love them on war, so... Then we have my Shield Coulson team, who's a defensive team for war that I mainly use. I don't get too much use out of them in Blitz or Raids just because I don't have my Nick Fury unlock yet. Kind of skipped that guy, skipped out on him because a lot of other legendaries have been coming out and they've been so much better than what Nick Fury and like Iron Man used to be. So I kind of just leave them for war defense. That's about all I use them for. Then we have my Wakandans, who... I definitely use for war offense because I feel like there's a lot there's a lot of teams that they could counter that they're good at using and everything like that. So I find if you definitely are able to get Shuri and like my Killmonger's a monster because he's a seven red star, but I'm grinding him to the seven. Right now he's just six. But they're definitely a good team. If you know how to use them correctly, they could punch up pretty well in war. Then we have that team right there with Shuri, Supreme, Thor, and like the Asgard trio right there. That team I use for raids. It's actually a really good UR6 team that I like a lot. 
and everything. So it's very useful. It'll get me like a good three, four nodes on difficulty four of the Ultimus Raid six. Then I have like my mix match, like mismatch Marauders team with Sinister and those three. And then I threw Ultron in there because he's just like a one man army. You could put him anywhere. And then Hawkeye, because right now my strife's like a baby strife. So when I need more points in Blitz, I'll throw Hawkeye in there. But usually I have strife in there, but he's just like, he's a baby right now. Then I have my Sinister Six, who I use for War Defense. I put them on War Defense because I feel like they already buffed themselves with the Deflex and everything. And they're actually a team that if, if you don't play them correctly, like they could actually take people by surprise and stuff like that. So I leave them on War Defense. I don't use them too much in Blitz because it's very like, eh, like who, like who you pick and who they fight. And like, it's not a guaranteed win at all. So I don't really use them that much in there. And for raids, they're definitely not that great at all. Now we have my Asgardians. The Asgardians right there are a ward defensive team mainly. And I use them in Blitz also. They can win on 8.3 definitely because they're just a very legit team with a really great kit. It's made for war defense, but you could still use it in Blitz. I don't use them too much in raids, like I said, except for that like Asgard trio that I pair with Supreme and Shuri. But besides that, I don't use Sif or Heimdall in raids or nothing like that. Then we have my Brotherhood, the 2.0 version. I recently got the Magneto unlock last time he came out, so I've been slowly kind of working on them here and there. Got Toad and Blob, who are kind of like the babies of the group, but it's still a really legit team, and all of them are great, and they synergize very well together, so I enjoy using them. It's one of my new favorite teams, for sure, to use. Then we have that Marauders team, the traditional one, with Ultron thrown in, just to give some little action going and stuff. Like I said, it helps out, especially for Blitz, because like when I'm trying to earn points, like I could pretty much throw that on Sim and they'll like run through anybody. Then we have next the Symbiotes that I use and the Spider Group. It's like a Spider-Verse team that I use with Miles, Venom, Carnage, and then Symbiote, Spider-Man, and Spider-Man. I use them for mainly Blitz, and that's about it pretty much. That's just a Blitz team. Then I have my AIM, who right now I use for war defense, but once I get them up and running and get more gear on them and get them higher up, I'm going to use them for war offense. So, But they're, they're a fantastic team that is really good for Blitz, and they can do a lot of stuff. Even if you take them high enough, they could do some work in Dark Dimension as well. Then we have my Hydra team, who's definitely missing the Red Skull, so that's why I haven't put too, too much work into them. Because I'm still waiting for that Red Skull unlock. And at the moment, I'm like, if you don't have him, it's kind of pointless to really work on them at the moment. Then we have my other, like, Spider-Verse 2.0 version. Like, sometimes I'll throw a Rhino in there just to get some tankage going and everything. I should switch the spot, though, and get Venom away from him. But put maybe Spider-Man there because he has the extra dodge chance and stuff like that. So, But it's definitely a useful team for Blitz. I don't use him anywhere else, though. Then I have my X-Men, who I use for war defense just because they're kind of like really mediocre right now. So I just use them to fill in the slot at the moment until I get my Phoenix unlock. And then I'll start actually putting more stuff and more work into them as well. That bottom team is my Merc layout that I use right now. And there are definitely different versions of the Merc lineup that you can use. There are better ones like you can throw Killmonger in there. You can also throw in Korath. So like there are better versions but right now I use my Killmonger with my Wakandans, and then I use Korath for, like, nothing really. I haven't worked on him, so once I get him up and running and have more time, maybe the Mercs will get some more love, and that's a war defensive team for me. Now, right here, we have the Supernatural, who's definitely a team I haven't worked on at all besides Mordo, because I'm trying to get that Phoenix unlock. So Mordo I have worked on, but the others I've kind of just left there, slowly putting stuff into them and everything. And right now, I feel like the Supernaturals, I really think they're missing another piece. Like, they're going to get some other characters pretty soon, so I'm kind of holding off, because I think there'll be a better lineup than what is there right now. Then we have the Kree, <coughs> who I'm definitely lacking behind on. I need that Nick Fury unlock. I really want that for my shield, but the Kree, like, 
like I said, more legendaries came out and other people came out and Nick Fury just kind of fell to the bottom of the list pretty much. So he's not a major, major priority at the moment right now. But so I haven't done too much to the Kree except for Ronan. And then at the bottom, bottom is the X-Force and I have them in there because right now I'm using them for arena offense. So I could earn some extra points for that milestone event that's going on right now for the X-Force and stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like all those are the save squads that I use pretty much for climbing blitz, war defense, war offense, and stuff like that. And, you know, let's just get that out there and show you guys what I've been working with. And hopefully soon I'll get a lot of other unlocks like that Black Bolt, need Inhumans, missing out on that Fury, like I said. And definitely want to put some more work into my aim so my main focus right now is my asgards and my aim those are the two teams that i'm putting most of my gear and farming into right now so yeah definitely if you guys like the content and want to keep it coming hit that like button hit that subscribe button in the bottom right corner for me hope you guys enjoyed the video have a great day peace out